Okay, I want to show you the video today about this interesting company called Fast3M and they can fix this CCC unit out of BMW 3 Series. Um, so, this is the third unit we were able to fix previous to, but this one, this one is definitely belongs to trash. As you can see, they tried to solder everything possible on this board. Everything. And they used incompatible flux, for example, for BGA chips. As you can see, it's all yellow here. Okay, and it's overheated. Absolutely all the chips were soldered. For what reason? I have no idea. That, for example, <laughs> they never go bad. Why would you even resolder everything unless you don't know what you're doing? This was most likely the case. Okay, we can even remove it. I'm going to show you what's going on on the other side. On the other side, as you can see, this one, it's where I assume happens to under any big GA chip here. This what happens if you use construction heat gun. It's overheated and if you look at it closer, you can see that the clear coat is missing. It's supposed to look like this. Only the pads. Here you can see that the pads are big. What I'm saying, not just big, but the coat is, is gone and you can see that the solder covers lots of parts. And you can see one pad is totally missing. So this is pretty much the hero of the day. This, this is like the board is destroyed. It totally destroyed. They they kept it for two months or so, and like I said, they resoldered everything. Absolutely everything on this board is resoldered. For what reason? Like I said, they have no idea what they're doing. I don't even understand why they advertising if they cannot fix it and let's say they don't know the principle how the thing works like I said if I if I don't know how to build a house I'm not gonna build a house uh, but they probably trying trying really hard I can tell for sure and they kill it now this motherboard belongs to trash only um, if they didn't send it to them we would have been able to fix it and uh, we could fix it and that that thing would have lasted another five years or so but now, like I said, we have to replace the motherboard and the owner is going to pay $200 extra to replace the motherboard. So I just wanted to tell you that this cool company is not that cool. And like I said, I don't want to put any crap on any companies or anything. Like if they did a good job, I wouldn't say a word. But this one is not acceptable. Saying once again, it's not acceptable. The previous two boards we were able to recover. At, at least they didn't overheat it that much. If you look at this closer, you can see that the board, the board is not even straight anymore. So it's kind of warped because of high. You can see this. Probably it's not easy to see from the camera. But uh, like I said, the board is warped. But the worst problem is, like I said, the BGA chips. If it, this thing, I'm assuming that this, the whole, this picture you're gonna see under any BGA chip. So it's pretty much pretty much trash. It's kind of sad because you know it would be nice if they didn't fix it at all. But like in this case, this is this is junk, and we wasted our time on that, and they wasted their time on that. I don't understand. Like I said, if they don't know what they're doing, why are they doing it? Why are they advertising it? But so far, it looks like there are not that many companies in the United States who can do them right. But it looks like we can. All right. Thank you. Leave your comments below. And one more thing I wanted to say is for somebody who thinks that they can fix this board by just heating up these chips, you know, and this chip, somebody put it on the forums, just just heat it up. Or another interesting thing, um, another thing is this. This is a power supply and some scammers they advertise online that if you replace this four capacitors, it's going to fix all your problems. Believe it or not, we fixed around 200 plus units. We never did it on any power supply. These capacitors are pretty good quality. You don't have to replace them. You don't have to touch this thing unless it's water damage, unless physical damage to happen to you. Because this thing is reliable, reliable as hell. And I can tell you that, you know, if you don't water damage it or something, like it's going to last 10 years or maybe 20. Anyway. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> for somebody who thinks they can fix it with a heat gun, I just want to uh, tell you that I'm not trying like to tell like, oh, you know what, you know, you can fix it and uh, you can save so much money and blah blah blah. No, I mean, you, you, you're more than welcome to try it, to fry it, but just don't send it after that to us because, like I said, somebody put it on the forums, you can heat up this processor, you can heat up this memory chips, and the thing is going to work. Believe me, it will not. In a few cases, it might work for a week or so, but it's not a solution to a problem. But the worst problem is, if you overheat it, then we cannot even fix it as well. Because, like like I said, this pad is missing, the clear code is missing, and that's it. I mean, the, the, the result is completely amateur concept. I don't understand how come they, I don't know, how, how come they're still in business. <clears throat> anyway, I just want to precaution you that... Um, Fixing it with a construction heat gun at 350-400 degrees is a complete, complete disaster for this motherboard. And its motherboard is fragile. It's 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 uh, non-lead free. So the max temperature you can put on this board is 200, maybe 220. Okay, anything extra will destroy it. Um, that company will offer you a replacement because they always say like, oh, your 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 um, CCC unit is not fixable because of previous repair attempts but people send them virgin CCC units which nobody ever opened and it has a seal on it but anyway they will offer you a replacement for $1200 or so so basically what they go what do they go to the dealer they buy um, they have a dealer discount they buy a refurbished unit and they offer it to you this was going to happen and uh, this is how their business model works and they are looking for easy money maybe after 2007 sometimes it, they, they can fix it we were small small um, time and uh, effort but in this case like I said th those guys don't understand how this motherboard works just simply ask them like what is this 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 what is it doing and I'm sure they most likely they will not answer it. and uh, I don't know. To fix the thing, you need to understand how it works. In a few words, this is a processor. This is the uh, fiber optic multimedia processor in the CAD network processor. This is a memory. This is chipset. This is the video decoder. Uh, this is LVDS decoder. This is a memory for for the ST10. To well, I, I just trying to tell you that you have to understand what's going on here, and that's the only way to fix it. Alright, thank you.